In this lesson, we're going to display the weather data. Earlier we have worked with the city and weather description and now in this lesson, we'll display the weather data like temperature, humidity and wind speed. First we'll go to the JSON beautifier and there we'll expand this list node 0 and we'll see this main and under this we'll see our temperature. Okay, so in the code behind file, we'll use this result.list of zero index dot main dot temperature. And along with that, we'll concatenate the degree Celsius symbol. So you can find the degree Celsius symbol from Google. All right. Here we go. Now we'll assign this temperature to the LBL temperature.txt property. And in the XAML file of weather page, we'll remove the hard coded temperature data. Okay, now let's run this application. And here we go. You can see that we'll get that temperature, but it's not in the Celsius. It's in the Fahrenheit. So there are many ways to convert the Fahrenheit to Celsius. The first is we can make a logic in C sharp to convert our Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius temperature. But according to the open weather map API, it's just a piece of cake for us. According to their documentation, we just pass the units equal metric in the API URL. And that's all we'll get the temperature data in the Celsius. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the API service class and they will pass the units equals metric in these two API requests. Let's run this application once again. Now this time you'll see the weather temperature in Celsius. There is another problem and that is we don't need this value after the point. We need to round off this value. So let's go to the model classes and there inside the main class we'll see this temp property which represents the temperature. Okay, we'll add another property of type double and name it temperature. And then we'll assign our temp property to the temperature property. Right after that, we'll wrap this temp in the math.round function. Well, math is a class in C sharp and this round function will be used to round off the number. Now in the code behind, instead of using the temp, we'll use the temperature property. Okay, let's run this application and here on the device, we'll see the temperature in a nice way. All right, now let's work with the humidity and wind. So back to the JSON beautifier and in the main node, we have this temperature property which we have used earlier. And now in the same main node, we'll see this humidity property. So we'll use the same logic to access the humidity which we have used to access that temperature. Okay, in the code behind file, we'll choose result dot, then choose the list of zero index dot main dot humidity property and concatenate the percentage symbol at the end. Now we'll assign this humidity to LBL humidity dot text property. And in the XAML file of weather page, we'll remove the humidity hard coded value. Okay, now let's start our work with the wind speed. So in the JSON beautifier, we'll open this wind node and there we'll see this speed property. To access this, we'll use the result dot list of zero index dot wind dot speed. And along with that, we'll concatenate kilometers per hour. 
Then we'll assign this value to the LBL wind speed dot text. And don't forget to remove the wind speed hard coded value in the weather page dot XAML file. All right, here we go. Now let's run this application once again. And here on the device, we'll see the weather data like temperature, humidity, and wind speed. Now in the next lesson, we'll work with the weather images. So I'll see you in the next lesson.